But we should be back. But as I was saying, like, I, I don't really... All I'm expecting is just, listen, let's just get through this fucking show. There's a lot of heat. There's a lot of criticism about you. And he just, he just lets me down like this. You know, and, and I, I, I like Andy. You know, I like Andy. And I fucking went to fucking bat for this fucking guy. So hard. Put my reputation on the line for him this week. And this is what I get? Really? Really? Let's have a look. He's like, he's like, attack me. You know what, Kino Clips? I am surprised. I am surprised, man. I am surprised. I am surprised. And that's me being fucking stupid. 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 Clearly right now he can't handle the pressure of fucking running the show. That's just the facts. Folks. That's just the fucking facts. All the motherfucker really has to do is run OBS, not spurg out at chat, and stay somewhat sober. I'm not even asking, I haven't even asked him for full sobriety, which any other fucking job, anything else in the world, they would be like, you gotta be sober when you go to work. Do you know what I mean? I don't even care if he fucking gets somewhat drunk on the show. But by the end of the show, when this motherfucker can't even read super chats because he's that fucked up, and he's saying it's boxed wine. But I've seen Andy drunk. And that, I don't know what the fuck that was. Maybe he took a medication that made the booze hit harder. I'm trying to come up with excuses. I'm trying to come up with copes for why today Ethan, Ralph, and Godwinson have massive victories. And I'm staring at a huge fucking L. And I can't find any. I can't fucking find any. Let's continue through this shit. Just call me a racist or an anti-Semite. Please, that's what I want to be called. Don't call me gay, because that would... Look at him. He bends over so again. Say, Is he drinking boxed wine? Don't, don't attack me with what's an effective avenue of attack oh. against me. No, attack me. What does this look like to you, chat? What does that look like to you? What does that look like? There are motherfuckers in the comment section being like, I was addicted to coke and Andy, you were an inspiration to me that you kicked the habit. And then they look and they see that shit. What does it look like? What does it look like? I love Andy. I still consider him a friend. But he's got to get clean. Just like I got to... Listen, Andy fucking doesn't have a problem telling me I need to lose weight. Because you look at me and I need to lose fucking weight. Because I'm going to die. And I'm telling you, Andy, if you're back on the fucking cocaine, which you swear to me you're not... And I, I'm trying to believe you. Okay? But if you're back on the cocaine, Andy, you're going to die. Okay? I love you, man, but I can't fucking let you kill yourself like that. And even if you're just drinking, man, that's alcoholism and that's fucked. You can't be drinking like that on the job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. The next Richard Spencer, like, okay. Sure, then. It sounded like there was a sniff there. I'm not going to lie either. It, like, 125.58. Let's have a look. 
You won't be able to probably hear it on this piece of shit. No, attack me in the way I want to be portrayed so I can be the next Richard Spencer. Like, okay. Sure, Nick. There's a sniff. There's a sniff. One twenty five fifty eight of last night's show, there's a sniff. You know what, Chub the Nub? I could talk to him privately, but I, I honestly think he's lying to me. Because I heard a fucking sniff. And I'm not going to fucking listen to an addict who's going to lie to me. You know? There's a sniff. Let's play it again. I don't want to believe that this is true, folks. I don't want to believe that it's true. I want to believe what Andy's telling me. But if a motherfucker is on serious fucking drugs, they will lie to you. They will lie to you. No, attack me in the way I want to be portrayed so I can be the next Richard Spencer. Like, okay. Sure, Nick. There's a sniff. Jub, I'll tell you why I timed you out. And he wanted you timed out. Now, I don't think that really helps anything to fucking ban you because you're just going to come back. But Andy was seething about you and that's what that moment was like when he goes, what the fuck? And he turns on me, why, why is this like it is? Look at the messages. It's because I wouldn't fucking Janny Jub the nub. That's why Jub the nub. And to be honest with you, if this is your fucking job, you have to be mentally tougher than that. You have to be tougher than that. It's weak. It's weak. And you know it's weak, Andy. Brother, this isn't right. You can't do this shit to me. Do you understand? You understand, like, the shit that I fucking went through for you, Andy? And then you do this to me last night? I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. <sighs> well, the thing is, too, it's like, it's like, it's tabloid nonsense. No, it happened. It was live. It's not like someone... Got you with a buddy in CGI the cat ears on the guy. We all know who Cowboy Cammy is. He sucked. I don't know, man. Guys, he just can't read the fucking chat. But let's go uh, to 207. Let's go to 207. It's another one. I mean, it just keeps happening over and over and over and over again in the stream. Over and over again. And it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Even if it's not... If it is booze, it's still completely unprofessional. It's crazy. What? How do I look? Like, what sort of respect do I have? Self-respect. When I let a guy come in and just shit all over me like this. For real. For real. For real. It's disrespectful. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be this fucking guy's, like, fucking uh, a guardian angel fucking wrangler? To keep him off drugs? A grown-ass fucking man? Blood. 
blind as they can go. This is Ben Shapiro. You may have heard of him. For efficiency's sake, he will represent the mainstream right. And on the other hand, we have America First. The limited immigration, immigration moratorium. Women should prioritize motherhood. Women should stay in the home. Uh, no, Ben Shapiro's not in favor of restricting immigration. A <laughs> halt on LGBTQ plus advancements. LGBT are knocked down a peg or two to their rightful place as mentally ill. And they'll even stick their necks out to defend... So there he is with the glass drinking the wine. So there is a glass and there is wine. I'm going to give him that. There is a glass and he is drinking wine. But this is fucking unacceptable. It's just not right. It's just not right. I'm not trying to felt Andy. I'm just, I have to address the reality of what we're witnessing. Which is a guy who's fucking clearly not, like he's coming undone under pressure. Whether it's booze, whether it's coke, whether it's pills, I don't give a fuck what Andy does in his fucking free time. I don't, I, you know, like I, it's his fucking life. It's his fucking decision, but this affects our business. And I, as far as I know, Andy is fucking clean of coke. As far as I know. But stuff like this makes me doubt when there's like four, five, six fucking timestamps. Of a guy fucking bent over, looks like he's fucking doing coke. And then the excuse I get is, well, it was boxed wine. That's why I was spiraling at chat. That's why I was completely incoherent out of my fucking mind on the show. The excuse isn't good. The excuse is shit. And it's fucking my fault for enabling this shit. And I'm not going to enable it. It's not fucking going to be on me. Sargo is calling for fucking drug tests. Is that what it has to come to? Is that what it has to come to? I'm not going to be enforcing fucking drug tests. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. Really, in their right mind, would defend, support Ukraine, or stay out of the conflict, execute Zelensky, limited government, give Trump uh, dictatorial powers. Whoa. Shapiro is kind of like the original trilogy. And there he is yeah, again, kind of bent like over. Takes, adored yeah. by millennials. But America First is the prequels. Bold, unconventional, energetic, and autistic. What did it take from this guy? This is. On top of this is a, he is the creep. They follow their predecessors, the alt right, by dipping their toes into the two areas that most major artistic political commentators. You're an, he's an artist. America first has finally. It's incoherent. Dip into the far right while still maintaining a palatable face. It's kind of like the. Come on, guys. Come on. Look at this. Look at that. That's how I get fucking rewarded. That's how I get rewarded for sticking my fucking neck out. Putting everything on this motherfucker. And in the moment of truth, in the clutch, when all we need to do is just not fuck up. I get that. It's not acceptable. It's not acceptable for me to put up with shit like that. It's not acceptable for the audience to have to put up with shit like that. It's not acceptable for the people who pay our bills, who want to have a good fucking, good entertaining show to have to put up with that shit. It'd be one thing if he was doing coke and it was actually entertaining. But it's not. But it's not. Polly Frog says if you drug test him, he'll just fake it. Polly Frog, um, I don't want to fucking shit on Polly Frog, but Polly Frog, 
was an addict at one time. And I don't fucking judge that. You know, everybody has their fucking vices and their problems. And I get it. I have my own vices and my own problems. But when they start to affect your fucking livelihood, your fucking job, to a critical degree like that, at a moment of truth, when we're on a campaign against Godwinson to prove that you deserve to be the co-host of the show, and then you just, instead of turning up fired up and fucking excited, like I was, instead of taking it as motivation to be better and to win, you have a fucking loser mentality. Let's get drunk and phone it in. In. Man. What can you even say? No, Paulie's like, Paulie's right. You can hear him sniffing. You can hear him sniffing. It was at 258. I said it earlier. You can hear him sniffing. I won't be lied to. I won't be made a fool like this. I won't be made a fool of like that in public so that Ralph can post on Twitter, Coke skis back on the blow. Why? Because Godwinson shit talked you? The chat called you Tardski? The chat says an awful lot of mean things about, do you hear me fucking spiraling at Job the Nub out of fucking nowhere? That's crazy, man. That's fucking crazy. And to think that I'm going to fucking lay down and take that shit and I'm not going to call it out for what it is is unprofessional publicly? You got another thing coming, dude. The entitlement and the disrespect and the lack of effort is shocking. It's fucking appalling. It's appalling. I still think, like, listen, I still love Andy. I wish him the fucking best. But I'm not enabling that. Why? So, so he can fucking kill himself on fucking drugs? Well, do you know, you say, why don't you talk about with him in private instead of grilling him on stream? Because he's publicly doing drugs on stream. It's a public problem. It makes me look like a fucking joke. And in fact, I am a fucking joke for allowing it. I am a fucking joke for allowing the charade to go on as long as it fucking did. Last night, that show was shit. It was shit. Did Andy prep anything on that show? No. Did, well, actually he did. He brought in the one clip with the fucking Pepsi and the milk. So that's not true. But did he... <laughs> Did he actually give a fuck last night? No. He didn't give a fuck. There's no passion there. When you don't do your job right, it's fucked. And all I'm saying is that Andy needs to be fucking sober. And until he can actually find some way to prove to me that he's actually like taking sobriety seriously, taking this opportunity seriously... And he's not just taking me for granted, taking me for a ride, taking the piss. I'm through with that. Fuck that. I'm not here to fucking bring in, oh, the Andy did this, Andy did that, snake Andy. But I'm not here to be a fucking fool. I'm not here to be taken advantage of and I'm not here to be fucking lied to by an addict. Now, it doesn't help matters in Andy's defense. The Nick clip we were playing has a lot of Nick sniffling in it. It does. And maybe that accounts for the fucking sniffs. But come on, man. If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably a motherfucking duck. And most people are going to believe it's a fucking duck, even if it's different. Even if you were just fucked up drunk. It's still not acceptable, man. You need to be able to handle your liquor, handle your fucking drink, handle your drugs. You're 34, brother. You're 34. I don't say that to fucking shame you. 
I just say that to wake the fuck up. How many more opportunities are either of us going to have to make the sort of money that we're making and to entertain as many thousands of people as we're entertaining? For you to piss it away like that. It's pissed away. Down the toilet. So, so far as the future of the Kino Casino is concerned, it is in absolute limbo. Absolute limbo. I will not be made to be a fucking joke and a retard like that. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. There's another one. I think. See here. No, this is the same. Listen. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. I didn't want to have to fucking do this. It's a sad day. But you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. You got to take it more seriously. And man, I fucking staked a lot on you, Andy. I'm just so disappointed, dude. That's all. That's all. I'm just disappointed. I'm not here to spill your secrets. I'm not here to snake you. I'm just calling that out for what it is, which is bullshit. It's unfair to me, unfair to the audience, unfair to our donators. Makes me look retarded. It gives our enemies victories. Gives Ralph a big win. Gives Godwinson a big win. I can't defend it. I will not sweep it up any longer. My broom hand is tired. That's it, Purse. All he had to do is show up coherent. This is not hard. This is not rocket science. We do a fucking show playing clips about Ralph and Fuentes. We make fun of it. You read the super chats. We split the money. Man. What a disaster. What a fucking disaster. I'm done. Talk to you later.